Once again, this is the Ghetto Free Press, and I'm George Boss Rhymes, and once again, I'm in Dawson, up here in Dawson, Georgia. Uh, I see the NAACP, of course, you know Francis Johnson was just in Valdosta uh, last week, and as you know, uh, the local uh, South Georgia news media didn't even cover it. But anyway, I'm walking in here now, and I, from just touch base with this young man here a few minutes ago, it seemed like he has a whole knowledge, well full pyramid of information, and of course, that's the mayor here which we're going to talk to in a minute. Uh, my beautiful brother, what's your name? Ezekiel Holly, Reverend Ezekiel Holly. And you say you knew uh, Edward DuBose, the former president of the NAACP in the state of Georgia, correct? I served as third vice president uh, to Edward DuBose for approximately eight years. Okay. And he's out of Columbus, am I correct? Columbia? Columbus, Muskogee okay. County. Okay. Uh, will you please tell me, uh, what is the history of uh, Dawson? I mean, I asked some people, but... Uh, maybe you can tell me, how old are you, by the way, if you don't mind? I'm 72. 72. What is the, you don't look that old, brother. But what's the, uh, what's the flavor of Dawson? Uh, I'm from Valdosta. I'm a retired military, uh, the United States Armed Forces. I served during the Vietnam era. But uh, I'm finding out now, it seems like we are going closer back to the Jim Crow laws. And I cover all over. So what's the flavor of Dawson? What kind of place is this? And what is the past history? Or did it have any relationship with the civil rights struggle in terms of Martin Luther King or Louis Farrakhan or Representative Tyrone Brooks, any of those people, as you can recollect and inform us this, 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 this evening about. Well, my brother, uh, Terrell County has a history of violence, and we uh, can go back to uh, the late 50s when uh, there was uh, a young man killed here by the name of James Brazier, mm -hmm. and uh, he was, uh, no one was never brought to justice uh, in that case, we went up to uh, Ole Miss and met with Alvin Sykes, a young man that uh, was working with the Teal Bill. And it was in, uh, at that time, it was in committee, and he got uh, the crew of Shelton and helped them got out the, the uh, bill out of committee. And uh, we was able to get uh, something like $10 million dollars for the FBI to do cold cases. Mm -hmm. And uh, a year ago, uh, the FBI wrote me a letter and stated that there was uh, no one yet alive uh, that was involved in the killing in, in 1958. Well, in the early 60s, uh, that you had organizations like SNCC and uh, SCLC that came to Southwest Georgia, uh, and Albany was the hub, is to try to uh, get uh, voter registration, get get uh, people of color registered to vote. And that was the challenge, because in Terrell County, that was teachers whom, when they went to register to vote in the early 60s, was, lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't be openly a member of the NAACP. They was kind of like an underground organization uh, here in, in Southwest Georgia in, in the early 60s. Also, uh, when Dr. King came into Albany and also Charles Sherrod, and they would meet in churches like Mount Olive, and after they met uh, in Mount Olive, the church was burned down. Uh, they also uh, burned down Mount Mary and I hope. Uh, in the early 60s because there was intimidation. Mm -hmm. See, intimidation goes back to uh, when that people of color was a part and under reconstruction, mm -hmm. a part of the uh, uh, Republican Party and there was more uh, Afro-Americans uh, in political office at that time than ever before. Mm -hmm. But some, there was a group of Southerners came together and said, we're going to intimidate them, we're going to kill them, mm -hmm. we're going to put, install fear in them yes, sir. and try to get them uh, out of office, which they did. Uh, there was a group called the Redeemers that came up uh, in the late 19, uh, 1870s, and uh, the last person of color was driven out of office about 1908. So there was, there was a fusion politics. Uh, in the early 1900s when the uh, uh, NAACP was formed uh, with, along with the Niagara Movement. Yes, the Niagara Movement. And uh, they came together because there were some whites and there were some blacks that was appalled 
and all of the mob violence. That was but, but, that, that Niagara movement, was that deal with Marcus Garvey? Yes. Marcus Garvey. Yeah, yeah. They, they was up okay, in Canada, right, but they right, came right, back right. to New York City, and they had a meeting, some 60 met, and seven of the almost people of color, and the rest of them was Jews and Caucasian, yes. et cetera, and they formed this organization. But let me get to uh, the 60s. There was only, I think, eight people in Terrell County in 1960 registered the how many? Six. Wow. You know and, that, Brother Mayor? <laughs> and, and, and this movement, this fusion politics. Yes, sir. When Dr. King uh, was, was, was a man that uh, I admire, saying that I found a cause that is uh, so deeply embedded in me that I live for and die for. Yes, sir. It's almost like uh, 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 Mandela. Yes, sir. Nelson Mandela. Yes, Mandela sir. had a cause, and this is what he has. The mayor has a cause. Mm -hmm that he willing to live for and need be die for. Yes, sir. And for to help his people. Yes, sir. And so uh, we went back and dug up some history uh, in the early 60s of the Dawson News where there was a lot of uh, people of color that uh, was killed and uh, nothing was nothing was dead about it. Well, 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 before you go further now, this is true for Douglas, uh, Georgia. This is true for Quitman and Brooks County, Georgia. It's true for Lyons County and Valdosta, Georgia. It's true for Thomas County, and I, I, when I came here, Mr. Mayor, did I not, I, if the people that we interviewed on the street, I kept asking them, what was the history of Dawson? I was thinking that you all might have been different and immune to the history that is throughout the South. So there is so many, there's so many bodies that are crying out from the grave for justice. Uh, the week of terror with the lynchings of Mary Turner yeah. in Brooks County, that week of terror where 15 to 25 black was murdered. And no GBI, no Justice Department, no governor of the state of Georgia, and yet they want us to forget and move on. No, we can't forget. We were bled, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, King said fusiously, uh, we suffered, we were br brutally beaten. And uh, in 1994, 1994, the former president, uh, uh, James L. Barnes, was killed right behind that desk over there on Saturday night. Right over here? Right here, right here, right, 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 right over wow. here. Wow. And that's his picture behind you on the wall up there. And what, what's that name again? James L. Barnes. Mm -hmm. B-A-R-N-E-S. Him, that's him up there with Bobby Hammond. Okay, now which one is that to be exact? I'd like to know. The one the, on the left up at the top. Okay. If you come down... Next to the certificate. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Come down to the other, that's Tom Murphy. Okay. Myself, Mr. W. L. Stallworth. Um, Stallworth, that's a great Stallworth historic. No, no. Okay. He was a school teacher. Okay. Uh, Miss Wilson, Bobby Hanna, and James L. Okay. Barnes. Okay. We was at the Capitol. And of course, Edward DeBose above up there. So you are. You've yes. been you've been in the struggle for a while. In the struggle for a while. Okay. Long too long. Yeah, <laughs> not too long. You know what I'm saying? We. I'm not gonna say too long. Go ahead, my brother. I ain't gonna agree with you on that one. But uh. Mr. Barnes, uh, and then after his uh, killing, they almost killed the mayor here uh, on uh, Halloween night, uh, what was that, 2013? October, to be exact. October, October uh, 13. Now, since I've been in office since 1994, 20 years I served in office. If you look on the wall here that I stood up against the Ku Klux Klan and they hunted, we had a protest. Uh, there in Nehunter, Georgia, when the Klan came to Nehunter. And uh, the governor sent uh, some of his security down there to escort me out of town and I would have safety. Uh, I had, again, some Latinos, as Angelina Nichols, and matter of fact, I'm supposed to meet with her and her group next Friday at the Sheriff's Department at uh, the jail in Albany. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have worked with uh, the Latino community because they're being deported. Uh, people of color, brown and dark-skinned folks are still being discriminated against uh, right here in Terrell County. Mm -hmm. That was at Mo House when we was I was first installed as the first, first vice president with uh, Edward DeBose. Yes, sir. That's him at the podium. Yes, Francis sir. Johnson is in front of him. At that time, he was the uh, Region 5 uh, director. Uh, may I add right here that uh, uh, Mr. Jones was in Valdosta uh, last week, and I want you to know that no South Georgia news media uh, covered anything uh, related to that event. Uh, 
uh, uh, they said he was coming, but it was so important that concerning what's going on in our community, especially with the KJ's uh, death uh, at Lawrence County High School, I definitely thought that they would cover that. But that's nothing new for our area. Right. Uh, one thing I want to say to you is, and as I go back to the early 60s, I met a uh, young man that was at the Atlanta Journal of Constitution who came down here. I had quite a few journalists come down to interview me. And uh, this was some, some years ago, and he uh, was a student at the time, and he did his thesis. He was a Caucasian young man out of uh, already around uh, the, the movement, the mm -hmm. movement. Uh, but one thing I got out of the movement, it took us to another level. And some of our young people don't know whose shoulder they are standing on. They don't know how they have gotten to be mayors and uh, 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 congressmen mm -hmm. and senators and judges. Mm -hmm. They forgot the bridge that carried them across. But I never can forget Johnny Lewis, the sacrifice he made in crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Yes, sir. Going from Selma to Montgomery. I had to go across. I had to walk that bridge. Yes, sir. You know, I, I had to walk in his footsteps. Uh, and when I think about Mr. Barnes, what he uh, bled and died for in this office, uh, you know, it made me stop and think. But right now, that I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, a mode of mind that we got a lot of, a lot of people of color that scratch the head and they're not itching, they smiling, yes sir, and, and they're not tickled. Mm -hmm. They're going, they're trying to play the game, and the man got all the money. They brought a deal, brought nine, twelve, I think, it was nine million dollars to Dawson last Monday. Mm -hmm. You know, been claiming they broke all the time, mm -hmm. but all of a sudden, when the election year come up, you gonna come down here and buy some votes. Mm -hmm. You know, in Terrell County. Yes, sir. You know, we, we, we don't need them to uh, keep uh, putting us in slavery. When you say 12 million, what do you mean? You mean? Well, for this uh, re-entry re program. So, so it's a show and tell you for, for yeah. the county. Okay. Yeah. They're gonna, gonna, and I bet you 61 that that organization going to be run by some of his friends. Yes, sir. The re-entry program. Mm -hmm. We're going to put out there that building, what they renovated. Mm -hmm. So, my brother, we've come a long way, but we got a long ways to go. Yes, sir. Oh. Edward DeBose came down here when we had a problem with Chain Gang Road. Yes, sir. There's a road down the south so called Chain Gang Road. Okay. And uh, it was it was just, uh, to us, uh, unheard of that you're going to uh, degrade our uh, morals and character by naming a road Chain Gang Road. And so uh, they said, kind of commissioners told him to go back to Columbus. He can do what he, he needed more in Columbus than he needed in Dawson. But I'm hoping that politics will change the face of the kind of commissioners. And that's what we need. We need to put people in place that's not, who's not afraid to bring us by change. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, we need, we need a change in America. Mm -hmm. The change in Terrell County. Mm -hmm. now, now, looking. When I come here, I see a fairly clean town. Uh, do you feel that, have you ever, have you ever considered the, uh, what they call the CDBG grants, federal funds coming in, and minorities and poor whites as well, so you get some of those uh, grants and, and, and contracts, contracts, and, 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 and in, in Valdosta, we're having a problem with that. What's the problem here? Because yeah. of one thing, uh, we have a city manager here, that looks out, well, let me go back. The city manager who is uh, also the housing inspector. Yes, sir. Is that, is, is that this right title? Mm -hmm. Inspector. Okay. Uh, so he, in other words, he's sitting on the pot. Yes, sir. That, uh, you know, the contracts be given somehow or another under the table mm -hmm. uh, to, to his friends. Mm -hmm. Now, CDBG, uh, every two years, they get CDBG. Yes, sir. Let me give you an illustration of what I know about CDBG. And I asked for housing because the housing condition is very deplorable in this town. Yes, sir. Let's just say that they're getting it for roads. Mm -hmm. And uh, it must be for minorities. Yes, sir. So all of us living right here in the city. And so we're going to go out here and we're going to use that money on the Grays Highway. Mm hmm so minorities live one block mm -hmm. 
But after that one block, guess who else is prospering from it? All of them other folk mm -hmm. that live on down the road. Mm -hmm. So they can use and say, well, yeah, history is getting used for minorities. Mm -hmm. Look at him. You got a whole lot of Negroes right here. Mm -hmm. But that's only one block of them. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know any minorities have got any contract or profit for any block grants to come in this town. Now, I just got a letter. I, me and Reverend John Robinson, a minister locally in Valdosta, yeah. we have been to Atlanta hood office three times with Miss Presley. And we have complained about it. And I just got a letter back from her. I think it's because of my YouTubes that she said they found no, discrimina no discrimination. And uh, I guess they think that I'm supposed to accept that. We have, a, we have black business contractors of the best quality who says there is no way that she could come to such a, a conclusion. And so now from what you're telling me is that uh, there is, it's prevalent here too? Well, let me, let me try to give you, and I, I don't, I don't want to give you an impression that, that, that I know more than I know. Right. But we, they just, Terrell County just built a, I think, $4 million jail. Mm -hmm. And the contractors that I talked to, a minority contractor, said, well, uh, they say, we can't get a bond. Right. That's, that's... So we can, the only thing we can do is become subcontractors. Now, I don't know how many subcontractors helped build this $4 million jail. We got a school that costs, and it's percent of $16 million. Mm -hmm. uh, the brother couldn't get a bond mm -hmm. to get the contract. Mm -hmm. Number one, work, got number one work. Mm -hmm. But you got it blocked on the end over here by the bond or insurance. Right. So these big companies come in from Valdosta, mm -hmm. uh, Augusta or wherever, and they be the general contractors. Yes, sir. And you see a few token yes, people sir. of color, mm -hmm. but they are subs, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The man was getting the money, don't ever lay his hands on a brick. Yes, sir. We had a bonding individual out of Tennessee, mm -hmm. came here, had the money available, and then all that fell apart. They couldn't accept it because he didn't live there. Yet we know for a fact other people have done it who didn't live there. I want to talk to Representative Dukes uh, over in Albany. Yes, sir. Now, he is in the construction business. Yes, sir. I don't know if, to, to what magnitude. Mm -hmm. And also, he is a representative at the Capitol. Mm -hmm. So now, he, if, if, if anybody could, could enlighten me, mm -hmm. I believe Dukes could enlighten me more on how the game is played. I'm, I'm running for House District number 151. And my, my logo is Game Changer. You running for what now? Say it once again. House seat 151. Okay. And my Which entails? Nine counties. The poorest county in the state of Georgia. Terrell County, Webster County, Stewart County, Randolph County, Clay County, Quitman County, Calhoun County, Early County, and a portion of Darty County. Small, small portion of Darty County. Yes, sir. And, uh... Game changer. Yes, sir. Game. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to yes. change the game. Yes, sir. I want to give us a piece of the pie. Yes, sir. Uh, you've been in this for a good while. I'm, I'm going to ask you before we close this out here. We, we, we can go to another clip if you want to. But my, 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 my question I want to ask you right here is you're 72 years of age. Uh, have you? Are you burnt out yet, man? Come on. Well, you ought to be about burnt out now. God. Let me tell you something. The, God, the Lord said one thing to Israel. Young men shall get weary and faint, but he that waiteth on the Lord shall renew his strength. He shall mount up with wings of eagles, he shall run and not be weary with on the Lord. I had no premonition for running for political office. I thought I could do much better here with the NAACP. Yes, sir. We couldn't find a PhD, we couldn't find a BA, we couldn't find a, a master degree. No one in these nine counties would step to the plate against this Republican. Yes, sir. And my daughter called me. She's up in Atlanta at Spelman. She said, Daddy, you cannot let that seat go unchallenged. Mm -hmm. And I said, baby, for you, I'm in the race. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. How old is she, by the way, in Spelman? She's, she is 20 years old. Wow. That's and beautiful. she's a uh, second-year student at Spelman. All right, all right. Yes, sir. All right, let's close this out, uh, my beautiful brother.